Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Spilling here once again with a Let's Play video. Um, I haven't done one of these for a while, it's basically a um, Let's Play together for the first time with a plugin that I've just got. So it's it's a Let's Play with Unfiltered Audio's Bass Mint um, from the lovely people at Plugin Alliance. Now I presume it's pronounced Bass Mint because um, it's all about the bass and where do you find basses in the basement. But in my dialect it's Bass Mint. Play on words. Anyway, so you go into your basement, you get your bassy and you make it minty, I'm guessing. So um, what I've done is I've got a number of different bassy style tracks from existing published tracks of mine. Um, and uh, we're going to play with this thing and see what it does. So yeah, uh, let's make it bassy. Um, let's play together. Here we go. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the screen. As you can see, this is Basement. Um, or well, should I say basement or basement? I don't know. Anyway, this is how it comes out of the box. Um, and look at this. It's resizable. Oh, oh, no, doesn't stop there. Doesn't stop there. It, it's huge. Um, anyway, I love that. Um, very simple GUI, it seems. So settings, uh, reset size. Oh, you can save size. Good peppermint color theme. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, let's. So that's peppermint spearmint. Ooh, do I like that? Basement. That's quite dark. Uh, and impact. I think uh, I like basement. I like the basement. Okay, here we go. Um, so we have on that randomization. Okay, so random. Oh, you've got a random button. What happens? Oh, changes. Oh. Look at that, look at that. Okay, different settings. Okay, let's uh, reset to defaults. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's put some bass to it. So as you can see, um, I've got a few different types of bass tracks from uh, works of mine. So the first one, let's go straight into it. This is Epic Club Bass Stem. And this is it without any processing. Um, let's play it. Fairly bassy. Shall we put basement to it? Saturate. So these are different um, things. So saturate, cutoff sets frequency below which. Okay, I'm guessing this is how much of that it has. Okay, yeah. I like the fact that you can see that. Um, Oh, I see. Okay, so that basically the strength of saturation happens underneath where this needle is. I like that. Soften. A low pass filter. Remove rough edges. Okay. We won't hear that much. Um, but when it saturates a lot, I expect. Okay, uh, shelf. Again, how much of it underneath? Ooh, lots, less, lots, less. Clarity. Remove mud around 400. Oh, look at that! It moves it. I like that. Anti rumble. enough headphones on so I probably can't hear it. Um, when activating the signal, below 30, okay. Below 30 hertz is sharply filtered out. Well, let's keep that on. Mid only. Well, that's useful. So only, so actually you can have lots of your normal stuff going on in the sides and this can fatten up the mid. Excellent. Okay, so that's going to be the solo underneath where this is. Yeah. Uh, mono. Oh, that's good. So underneath that, I presume, yeah, it's going to go into mono. Excellent. Which you sort of always want to do anyway. Soft clip. I expect that gets rid of a last stage saturated to prevent any hard clipping. Well, that's nice. How kind of them. Is there a gain? Is there a gain? 
there a game that I can have? The settings. Quite like a game stage, but I can't see much. Maybe it's automatic. No, it's not. Anyway, um, that's nice. Right, uh, what's what are all these? Saturate, resonate. Uh, let's okay. Control clicks sets them back to normal. That's nice. So resonate. Oh, let's turn this off. Ah, it's a filter. You see that it filters to where the, the needle points. Okay, and I presume. Uh, you get a bump in it. Yeah, there you go. Look at the bump. So you get a resonant filter across that. That's quite nice. Oh, that's very useful. Okay, so shelf. Okay, that sort of just adds or lessens that again. Clarity. I do like that clarity getting rid of that mud. It seems quite a Sharp. All right. Hello. You're very bright. I'm going to just change you. Excuse me. Is that better? A bit better. Um, yeah. The clarity. It seems quite sharp. Quite a sharp notch. So it'd be nice if there was a way to change that. Um, whether it's sharp or belly. Or be anyway. Um, I'm being picky. Uh, so that's cool. Octave. Right, back to normal. Do, do, do. Okay, octave. What do you do? I'm imagining it adds an octave somewhere. And whatever's under here, it adds it above here. I'm guessing, yeah, from the visualization. Can you tell that? I'm right, Emmanuel. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm guessing all that blue information is now being put through into this um, octave above. That's quite nice. Um, a lot of these sound like you could do a lot of sound designy things um, with them. Okay, synthesize. A lot of fun with that. So that basically adds, uh, sounds like a sine wave to me. It's quite cool. Sound designy, yeah, like it. Okay. So, so that you can really tune it in. I like this solo actually. I like that solo option. Very nice. Cool, uh, back to normal. Overfold. Oh, turn the bit off. What do you do? Oh, hello. Let's get rid of some. Oh, God. Wow, what are you? It sounds like. Sounds like I'm giving more saturation. I'm not entirely sure what. I have to look at the manual. Let's look at the manual. Um, hello, basement. Well, there's only two pages. Ah, okay, that's nice. That is only one page. Okay, modes. Okay, yeah. Sig yeah, octave synth. Okay, yeah. That's what I presumed. Overfold. This is more aggressive version of saturate mode that uses the overfold algorithm. Ah, dent and indent of biome, which are very cool sound designy things. This is not a subtle mode <laughs> and is intended more for exaggerated sounds. Like. Excellent. Cool. I like this. Right. So that's my. um. 
Nice. Okay, so back to normal, back to zero. Um, this is, let's try a kick, shall we? See what it does with the kick, same sort of thing. Um, there we go. Cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's go straight to synthesize. And then you can tune it. Da, 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 da. Sounds about there. Oh, I like that a lot. That's fat. Let's try the octave. Oh, that's weird. a lot it's a bit like um plugin alliances sub filter thing uh, i don't know if you've got sub filter and i don't know if you've got sub filter but sub filter is um basically an, another bass thing but this seems to have lots more in it in one plugin and it's pretty cool um i like that let's oh do you know what let's just go for a brahm i like a brahm okay you ready here's without any processing Shall we? Ready? Ooh, hello. Let's go for resonance. That's oh, a filter, isn't it? I'm presuming you can automate these, not by right clicking, but by this. Okay, yeah, all of those shove over here. Um, and, you know, automate from that. That's very cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's big. Oh, that's really mm. Don't need to see the size on this. Okay, you can hear that, can't you? And actually, by dipping this, by dipping there, you actually, it's giving you a shelf up the top. Look. Gives a bit of air. Oh, I like that. And then mid only, let's go for mid only and then. Listen for the air on the sides. Start again, ready? Really nice. Oh, I like, I like. Okay, let's do something else. Um, so this is, uh, um, what is this one? It's another bass. Um, let's turn. So this is a sort of a pulsy bass thing. Let's go from here. That, this, that, and that are my favorite things. Um, this basically gives you more or less at the cutoff, and that's quite handy. This seems useful. I haven't discovered a huge need for it yet, but um, subtle. But this in itself, oh, that's nice, resonates. Definitely need that. Again, we get rid of the mess. Right, that sounds a bit weird. Synthesize. Do you know what? I think I'm going to use that synthesize for a bit of modulation for um, sound designing stuff because that's, that sounds very cool actually. And that. 
you could do some you could do some sort of you know very cool pumping effects overfold would be fat oh boring exciting um do you know what just so you can um hopefully feel the excitement with me i'm going to put that on the base up here so I'm just using my mix window on the other thing, so you can't quite see it. But I'm going to play the kick from the same track. Right, I'm going to just show you a little bit of what I tend to like doing. Um, so I'm going to send the kick from a bus into here, and I'm going to pump it. Should we pump it? Let's go for, I don't know, a uh, compressor. And let's put it on uh, bus three. Did I call bus? Do you know what? Always name your buses because you get lost. Kick. Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, okay. So, should we get it pumping, folks? Shall we get it pumping? Okay, here we go. Ridiculous amounts of bass. I yeah, okay. Can you um can you tell I'm getting excited about this? It's just fat and big and huge, and obviously, you know, mix it. In. Oh, hello, you've gone dark again. Right, I'm going to turn it down. Better? Better. Okay. Um, right, enough of that nonsense. Normal, normal, normal. Let's do something else, shall we? So what haven't we done? Uh, we've done we've done a kick. Oh, let's do... Um, so this is some orchestral bass. Right, let's go through this bit. Right, if you like your bass stuff, you're not going to be disappointed with this at all. I do like this synthesize. I like this sine wave thing. I mean, it's it's not new to add a sine wave to a bass just because it just it does fatten it up but usually if you add the sine wave you know way lower than your actual audible bass it, it does give it a certain oomph um but the fact that you can hear the sine wave around and you can do that that it just provides something else you know and i like i like experimentia just got something to it um yeah nice okay um I, I know i'm not going through everything with this but right okay this is um the this is a live uh, upright bass uh, jazz bass so this is recorded live and if you listen very carefully you can hear um the piano in a different booth See, that sounds, I mean, I thought that sounded excellent before, but now. Oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? I 
know it's 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 far too much. But oh uh, yeah. Overfold. I mean, overfold is, is too much, but that. We can hear that. Do you know, that's absolutely lovely. Just hit this a little bit. That's all very, very useful. And then um, this was the uh, VST, yes, this, this next one is the Easy Bass um, uh, from Tune Track and Electric Bass. Let's put normal, 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 normal. Is it just me or is that quite exciting? I thought that was good. And now you've just got um, Obviously you need to mix it within each track, but it just makes everything so lovely and fat. P-H-A-T. Should we have a laugh and go for, I don't know, should we do this? Let's go back to this one. And let's random. Are you ready? If I can remember rightly, you have varying degrees of randomness. You can you can go hardly any. Zoom. Look at that. Doesn't move much. That's quite a cool thing. Or oh, load. Um, so there we go. Um, big fan, actually, because um, I, I, I was using subfilter and, um, you know, just EQ and things and sine waves and just get all of that. But actually, everything in one plugin is very, very useful. And uh, thank you, Plugin Lines. Um, I'm, I think I'm a big fan. I think I'll be using this a lot. And the fact that you can make it enormous, <laughs> that just makes me laugh. Do you know what? Let's go crazy. Let's go spearmint. Huge. Bah! That's just quite tasty. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave this uh, playing, me playing, and um, yeah, take care. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, once again for sticking around. Um, if you like this, give it a like. Um, if you like what I do, give me a subscribe and a bell. Um, all of them hugely appreciated so thank you very much uh, also leave me a comment see what i should um check out any plugins you think i should invest in until the next time folks take care basement basement would you like a mint oh it's a bit minty basement would you like a mint bye